How long do you think your two people are going to have to stay there? You know, I mean, our short answer to that is as long as it takes. Um, we've been down there. In fact, even in just the time we've been down there, you know, we've been learning about more problems in other areas of their operations. So it's we definitely haven't yet got our hands around the extent of the of the work that's in front of us. Um, we're continuing to do. In fact, we're going to send some additional folks down there to help us scope um, uh, any other areas of problems that we may not be aware of at this mm -hmm. time. So I, I really can't give a very good estimate right now. Mm -hmm. I guess if you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking a few months, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to make sure that things are documented. There's lots of evidence of uh, lack of documentation. It seems to be more not so much that there aren't policies at all, but just that they're not being followed, including state laws. It's pretty much uncharted territory, so we're, we're trying to be, go very carefully um, with how we proceed to make sure that it's a good process, because we're kind of inventing it as we go along feeling is that this is an area that we always uh, really should have been more proactive in. You know, we've known for some time the auditor has a list of communities that are considered at risk because they're not compliant with the state's audit uh, act and other statutes. So we've known about these problems for a long time, um, but we've traditionally taken the view that we just didn't have the resources to fix every town, you know, or half the towns, maybe a fifth of the towns in the state. Um, you know, I think what we're trying to do, and this governor has really uh, asked us to be, be very proactive in this, is to say, well, look, you know, even if it's on a limited basis, we've got, a, we've, we've got some situations here that are really serious and we've got to get in there. So I'm hopeful this is an area that local government will learn from and it'll sort of, they'll be able to leverage their experience from this kind of thing into doing a better job of their ongoing oversight of the local governments. You're a DFA, it means you're a bottom line guy. What's the bottom line and how much is this going to cost taxpayers? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think in the long run it'll probably save taxpayers um, because what we have learned already is uh, very substantial amounts that have probably been misused. And how much has actually gone missing, I don't know. Any kind of range? Just for DFA expenses, you know, million, two million? Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not it won't like be that, that much. No, it's oh. like it'll be a couple of professional services contracts for a couple of months, kind of thing. Okay. It's, no, it'll be it's within our budget. 